Positive news tonight. COVID-19 cases continue to decline in Palm Beach County, and that's sparking a lot of conversation on the next phase of reopening. WPTV News Channel 5 Sabir Rayford spoke with the county mayor about the steps ahead. For Peter Kiskin, opening his own business in Northwood Village was a dream come true. It's eclectic, it's artsy. It's called Old Metal Classics Cafe, but Peter says there's still somewhat of the new kids on the block. And we just came into the appreciation that people know us. Then the COVID-19 pandemic caused a devastating decline in business. We have lost about 75% of our business. Still, Peter says he's in no rush to fully reopen. I think right now, I would say it is good the way it is. However, COVID-19 cases are down across the state at its lowest level since early June. In fact, on Monday, Palm Beach County reported a 5.7% positivity rate, the lowest we've seen in weeks. Data that caught County Mayor Dave Kerner's eye. At this point in time, the governor reminded me that this county's positivity rate, which is a direct reflection of the amount of, of, of coronavirus in our community, is actually lower than over half the counties in the state. Kerner says he's not concerned the number of reported COVID-19 tests are also dropping. There's a transition to where people that are symptomatic or concerned get tested only. And even in the face of that with the lower numbers, uh, we have still a very low positivity rate. As for moving to phase two, the mayor says all commissioners will have to vote to send a letter to the governor for final approval. Personal perspective is that we are ready to consider moving to phase two. How that phase looks like is more important to me than, than the yes or no question of moving to phase two. So I can tell you that there is some hesitancy on my behalf to open up bars in phase two. Reporting in Palm Beach County, Sabir Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5. Now county commissioners meet again next week. We'll of course let you know if moving to phase two will be discussed. Meanwhile, Mayor Kerner says he also plans to meet with Superintendent Don Fenoy later this week to discuss how they can work together to eventually safely reopen brick and mortar schools.